So it has been a long, long, long time since I've done one of these videos, but it's time to get back in the act, get back at it, and it is time for a Universal Orlando construction update with yours truly, the legend. Let's do this. Kicking off the construction update over here by Race Through New York starring Jimmy Fallon. Uh, new rides can be opening up in the spring and a lot of stuff going on here. You can see the, uh, the exterior has really, really moved forward. A um, couple of different interesting things here. Those bathrooms over there, they've been open since Horror Nights. New expanded bathrooms over there. And I'm not sure what this is. It's got like a sort of an upstairs patio area. I'm not sure if that'll be a guest area or like VIP premium viewing for the parade or what that's going to be. But there's definitely some sort of second level or something going on up there. We get with the facade here, you got this big white building, which I'm assuming will be like the gift shop and post show kind of thing, which um, definitely looks a lot nicer than the, the Twister one did. Um, over here, you get where the entrance to the ride is going to be. Pretty much a, a very, a, the exact same location where they, you would enter the Twister ride. Uh, facade will look much nicer, as this is supposed to look like the, uh, I believe, the start of his TV show there. Uh, a couple of negatives, like this, I think, kind of looks silly. Like, it would be fun if they're going to continue this skyscraper kind of motif. I mean, you can see the, uh, the windows in there and everything. and uh, But it looks like it's just gonna stop right there, leaving the rest of the building just to look like big yellow building. Like uh, that, they should probably like up the budget a little bit and have that keep going. And maybe they will, who knows? But uh, here's a quick look at the old Jimmy Fallon ride. Um, I've, I've sort of been going up and down on this one. Oh, that dude's got like a flamethrower, look at that. Oh, that's cool. Hell yeah, flamethrower. Anyway, I've sort of been going up and down on this ride. Um, I, I'm not a fan of a show. I don't watch a show. So uh, when I watched the video that Universal released, yeah, I was sort of, I was really in the dark on a lot of it. Like, you know, a lot of the different sketches, I guess they're sketches from the show. And that's completely over my head. That's something I don't get at all. And then um, it really, for me, it's going to depend on what kind of ride system they're using in here and the technology involved. Because the IP is something that doesn't really appeal to myself. You can see some supports up there. And, uh, you know, depending on who you listen to online, some people say, oh, it's going to be a soaring style ride. And some people say, oh, it's going to be a minion style ride. So it's really about who you listen to and uh, what this thing ends up being. Um, I, I love Soren. I actually I went on the uh, sort of the knockoff version of Soren. That's the Mall of America. And I really enjoyed that. So, I mean, if this is a Soren ride system, I think I could like this quite a bit. And there's that flamethrower just going there. That's uh, probably not the safest thing in the world. But uh, <laughs> flamethrowers are cool. Um, so if the Soren style ride system, I think it could be, uh, there's potential there to be a neat ride if you're not a fan of the Fallon brand like myself. But uh, if it's a minion style ride system, that, uh, that I will not be a fan of, you know. Uh, that, that's you know, very much a ride system from the late 80s. But uh, there we go, that's the latest from uh, Jimmy Fallon's super fun ride time. Yay, yay, spring 2617. It will be the next ride to open here in the Orlando area, so that, that is exciting. And now coming at you by the construction project that has by far moved the most since the last time I've done one of these in the months and months that it's been. I'm sorry, I've been busy with IAPA and, and Halloween Horror Nights and traveling all around the country and weddings and stuff like that. I've been very, very busy recently. But we are here at the uh, location of the future Fast and the Furious ride, as you can tell from the hashtag on the wall. Apparently all these construction walls need a hashtag nowadays. But um, obviously a very, very big, big building you have here. This is going to be a building that's similar size as like Revenge of the Mummy or Escape from Gringotts, something like that. And you could tell on this side, they've really moved along to the part that they're, you know, building walls on the building. And uh, a couple of interesting things here. It definitely seems like it'll have two floors apart. Whether that'll be for a guest area or not, I, I couldn't tell you. But uh, it definitely seems like there's uh, two different levels up there. And obviously, they're much more work concentrated on this far side of the building. If you look over there on the other side of the building, there's really nothing going on. So I wouldn't be surprised if this is more of like the... Uh, the actual ride experience building, the construction time will be a lot longer, will be over here. And then, you know, your, your more queue and easier things will be over there. Also, this ride is probably gonna be screen heavy, as we can imagine. And uh, maybe that'll be a large screen section that would not take nearly the amount of time to build. But uh, I guess that's kind of what's going on here. You can tell the American flags up top, meaning they have topped off their construction. And uh, also you can see the stuff with the flags up top. And that's sort of just to say, hey, stay away from the edge for people that are working up there on the ceiling. But anyway, that's kind of what's going on here at the Fast and the Furious ride. This one's still uh, light years away, uh, but it'll be a long time before we actually see what this one is. But, uh, you know, it's, it's definitely got the building to be something amazing. Whether or not it'll, you know, live up to that potential and that size, you know, who knows? But we'll find out. Over here for a quick one more look at the, uh, the building here. You can see some of the roofing starting to come up on this side over here. This is the far side, obviously, between the old Disaster and uh, King's Cross Station. 
But again, it looks like you might have a second floor over here as well. Maybe, or just like a, a second floor access area. Maybe that'll be like an emergency pathway. But anyway, there's the, uh, the back side of the Fast and Furious ride. So over here by Men in Black in the old Robo Oasis, there's been a very long construction project that's finally opened up for this uh, Coke freestyle kind of snack stand kind of thing. So let's go in here and check this out. Again, uh, you know, the other thing was rather outdated. This deal is very nice and new. You got some sort of a... <laughs> it smells new. It's got that new car smell. All right, here. It's got some sort of interactive feature. Sure, 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 yours. Yes. All right. Please enter your first name and hit the share now button. Let's go with my super secret internet code name. There we go. That'll work. There we go, let's see. Is the robot going to do it? Yep, there's my Coke bottle. Well, that's neat. Um, you know, kind of a simple interactive feature. And, uh, cool, I also obviously if you like Coke freestyle machines, it's a good spot for you. And there goes my Coke bottle. Anyway, nice little, it's also very, smells very new, very air conditioned in here. They got four of these machines, so, uh, good upgrade. Nothing remarkable, but, uh, you know, smart for them to do it. So, as you can tell from some of these wait times, it's a pretty good day to be here at Universal. I'm recording this right now about 4.45, and I mean, Despicable Me, 10 minutes. Revenge of the Mummy, <laughs> 5 minutes. Harry Potter and the Scape from Green Gods, 10 minutes. Essentially, there's really no one here today, so it's a wonderful afternoon, perfect weather, no crowds. It's really like the ideal theme park day. So one of my favorite parts about Universal during Christmas time is that they have all these giant Macy's balloons set up all over the park. And uh, obviously they do their parade during uh, the, when it is Christmas time. I think it starts on the 3rd this year. But I just love these guys sitting up all over the park because uh, I, I'm a native New Yorker, so I used to go to the, the Macy's parade all the time. So it's cool to just see these uh, big time balloons all over the park. So if you watched one of these before, you know I love the prop shop here at Universal. And they've got some uh, some different stuff in here. And a lot of stuff from Halloween Horror Nights that just concluded a couple weeks ago. Well, actually, almost a month ago now. <laughs> if you wanted your own life-size chance doll, well, that's um, that's here. Not sure if she's for sale or not. You can see some fanboys doing some really weird stuff with that. You've also got some little heads from, like, The Exorcist. That'll be terrifying if you want this thing. <laughs> it's $400 for that terrifying head. Yeah, something like this, that would be kind of acceptable, I guess, to have in a, in a house. <laughs> and there's weird stuff, stuff that I don't know who would want this, like this giant sign for Halloween Horror Nights 26 Pizza. And then this one, I, this one I could see, you know, I could see this little spoon wanting this in his house. Something like that. That's a completely acceptable sign. There you go, Spoonie, if you want that, it's um, $150. And then a couple of different things. I think a lot of these were in like merchandise stores and things like that. I don't know if they're actually from the houses. But there we go. What is this thing here? This is a large Zeus cauldron. That's uh, something else. You've got even like their games of skill sign from it. You can tell that it's, you know, harness from this year. You yeah, always some interesting stuff in here. <laughs> you get a sign for the scare actor dining experience. Anyway, you never quite know what you'll find. But the uh, life-size chance mannequin is definitely the most interesting thing today. So I had to turn the camera back on real quick because I was curious, like, what the hell is this? It's just like a whole bunch of rubbery fluff. And then I looked down here, and it's animatronic mummy skin. So like the stuff that goes over the, some of the robots. How yeah, crazy is that? That's definitely that's something I thought I would see here. That's cool. Guys, that'll do it for here at Universal Orlando. Um, was have some over Islands Adventure. Now nothing really going on here. I've seen there. I feel like any rides, nothing too interesting over on this side. And uh, that'll do it. Uh, try to get back to doing these things once every two, three weeks if time allows. Obviously with Fast and the Furious and Fallon, it's not the most exciting construction we've ever seen over here. All the exciting stuff's really going on outside of the parks over where they're building the Volcano Bay Water Park. And uh, I might get some updates over there, but you know, it's kind of weird because you have to, and a lot of times when I come to do updates, you know, I'm by myself and I don't want to try and film and drive and crash my car. Got a new car, I don't want to do that. But anyway, hope you watched, like the updates. Follow me on Twitter at In The Loop Legend. Be sure to like us on Facebook with 21,000 others at <laughs> facebook.com backslash In The Loop Podcast. Check out, uh, subscribe to get all the videos and listen to the podcast. Thank you guys.